All right, everybody, this is a quick little screencast on what you can do with shapes in Google Slides. So this is the shape tool right here. And when you click on that, you'll notice when you go to these arrows here, you get all sorts of shapes under these four different categories. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this circle shape right here. And then once I've chosen a shape, I just click and drag to make that shape. Um, one, you can see that I'm I can make all sorts of different dimensions here of an oval or a circle, but if I hold the shift key down, if I hold the shift key down, it constrains it to the original dimensions here. Once I have a shape, by clicking off of it, you can see that I have not selected it, but when I click on the shape, you'll see that I get some other tools up here. Here is the fill tool, so I could add a color there, and you'll notice there's still a, a dark line there, and if I select the shape again by clicking on it and come up here uh, I can change the border weight and the border dash so let's just change the weight to a little thicker um, select that again I could change that to a dotted line and I can change the border color right here now let's go ahead and add another shape here I'll grab another circle and when I draw out this circle you can see it's on the top there. So one thing when you're working with shapes, you might want to reorder them um, into different layers for, for a desired effect. So if I right click on this shape, I clicked on the red shape and I go to order, um, I can bring that to the front. You see now it's over the top of this other shape here. So when I slide this shape over, uh, I actually lose it. It's hidden behind this red shape. But let's say I wanted to make a hole in this red shape here. I could right click on this shape, order, bring to front. You can see there's other things to do here, but I could bring to the front. Now I can set it on top here and I've got my desired effect. And if I go ahead and change this uh, to white and I could even change the border to white or transparent, uh, now it looks like I've got a hole in this circle, and now I've got a tire, I guess. Um, so anyway, those are a couple things you can do with shapes. Quick uh, review, you have to click on a shape to select it. When, once you do, you get a number of tools up here that you can use um, with the shape. And uh, right-clicking on any shape will bring up some other tools like order, rotate. Uh, you can see that you have some different things here. Um, and of course you could even do a change shape. So that uh, white circle with a transparent border, I could now change to a white arrow with a transparent border. So it kept the qualities, but uh, it changed the shape. One last thing I'd like to show you um, is that, well actually two things. First, you can group shapes. So if I drag, oops. So if I drag over both of these shapes, you see I've just selected both the arrow and the circle, and I right click, I can choose group. And what that does is it puts those two things together. So now it's not a single white arrow and a different red circle, but I've actually got them grouped as one thing. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you is that you can duplicate shapes by holding down the option key and dragging. So I'm holding down the option key right now, and then I click and drag, and you can see that I can make all sorts of these shapes and duplicate them and save a lot of time.